in my downtime while looking around for either something to read or just checking channels, I came across this, oh, really cool article someone posted at The Matrix. So they were in the Arctic, uh, one of the Arctic ma rooms on Matrix, and they were asking if Arctic was still vulnerable to this. So what this is, is if you haven't heard as of yet, is the Looney Tunables bug. And yes, it does affect many major distros. And kind of getting down into it, so kind of it's tracked on the CVE 2023-4911. So I'll open that in a new tab. But <clears throat> so enables attackers to gain root privileges by exploiting one of the features in the GNU C library, LDSO or glibc. So if you've got glibc on your system, yes, you are vulnerable to this. And that is basically every distro, pretty much. You've got a few that don't use glibc, like Alpine or Postmarket OS. But in large part, most Linux distros use GNU's C libraries for everything, pretty much. So yeah, let's see. So it's because of the, what was it? glibc tunables environment variable. So you can like, <clears throat> oh, without having to recompile, you can change how it runs in essence from there. So basically they urge prioritizing and patching it. So here is Qualys. They are the ones that found this, and this is the blog. So Qualys threat research unit has discovered a buffer overflow vulnerability in glibc's dynamic processing of the glibc tunables environment variable. <clears throat> Having successfully identified and exploited this vulnerability, so yeah, it grants root privilege, full root privileges when you exploit it. On a default installation of Fedora, which I know a lot of people like use, 3738, Ubuntu 2304 and 2204, Debian 12 and 13, other distributions are likely susceptible. Although we've noted that Alpine Linux remains an exception due to its use of libc instead of glibc. So it was introduced in April of 2021. <clears throat> and it took, so down here, so it, let's see, gives background on the library. Potential impact of tu Looney Tunables. Presence of buffer overflow vulnerability in the dynamic loader's handling of the glibc tunables environment variable poses significant risk to numerous Linux distributions. This environment variable intended to fine tune and optimize applications linked with glibc is an essential tool for developers and system administrators. Its misuse or exploitation broadly affects system performance, reliability, and security. So you can optimize it for your system on the fly, but it has other issues. Are successful exploitation leading to full root privileges in major distributions like Fedora, Ubuntu, and Debian highlights this vulnerability, severity, and widespread nature. Although we are withholding our exploit code for now, the ease with which the buffer overflow can be transformed into a data-only attack implies that other research teams could soon produce and release exploits. Okay, so Alpine Linux obviously being an exception so uh, the disclosure timeline that they have, they kind of like posted like the timeline here. So there's the advisory and exploit sent to Secular at Red Hat on the 4th of September. Then the 19th of September was an advisory and patch sent to Linux distros at OpenWall. And then the 3rd of this month was the coordinated release date for this exploit. So the technical details available here... So let's see, Qualys is releasing the QIDs on the table below as they become available Vol with Voln SIGs. Let's see, so Debian Security Update, Amazon Linux Security Advisory for glibc. So yeah, even Amazon servers are affected. Gentoo, now Gentoo does have the option of not using glibc, so you could use libc instead. 
So if you're using the glibc compilation of Gen 2, then for sure, then it seems like you would for sure be vulnerable. But you might be able to get away with, oh, musclelibc instead for that. <clears throat> see, do, do, do. it's imperative for system administrators to act swiftly. While app buying Linux, users can breathe a sigh of relief. Others should prioritize patching to ensure system integrity and security. So if we go into this here, okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Start objects needed by a program. Recently discovered a vulnerability in the tunables environment variables. Successfully exploited this vulnerability and obtained full root privileges on the default installations. Very beginning of it. It's execution. So how long is this? It's not long. So it's, yeah, it's a whole TXT with like the process and everything pr in proof of concept and exploitation. So let's see. <clears throat> we thank Red Hat Product Security, Sid Hesh Poyurek, Poyurek. Your Ricard, the members of Linux Distro's Open Wall, and Salvatore Bonacorso, and Solar Designer. Solar Designer, gosh. Okay, so there's their timeline. And yeah, so if we go to the CVE as reported, it's on the Red Hat customer portal. Let's see. The vulnerability was introduced in glibc version 2.3. Four R dot R hell dash eight. Let's see ships glibc 2.28, which is not originally affected by this vulnerability. However, the commit that introduced this vulnerability was backported to R hell 8.5, making this version an onward vulnerable. R hell 8.4 and older are not affected by this vulnerability. So that's interesting to note if you're running a Red Hat distribution. For customers who cannot update immediately and do not have secure boot feature enabled, the issue can be mitigated using the following system. Tap script with the following steps when enabled and set UID program invoke with glibc tunables in the environment will be terminated immediately. Invoke the set UID program users will then have to unset or clear the tunables nvar glibc tunables sudo. Note that these mitigation steps will need to be repeated if the set system is rebooted. Okay. So yeah, you've got a couple options that Red talks about. But here in the article that we started with, so in recent years, researchers have discovered high severity Linux security flaws that enable attackers to gain root privileges and default configurations of many Linux distributions. The list includes flaw in Polkit's PKEXEC component, dubbed PwnKit, another in the kernel's file system layer, dubbed Sequoia, and in the sudo unix program bear and some edit so the sudo one is why many people have moved to open do as as their privilege oh program basically so that because it's much simpler and it is not vulnerable vulnerable to the same oh exploit as sudo so yeah so get your system secured there are a couple different ways to do that, and it's interesting that it's in glibc that it happens to be, which is a library in the vast majority of oh, Linux distros. And so if you're using a non-GNU Linux distro, then you're pretty safe from this. And if you're compiling Gen 2 with musclelibc, then you should be decently fine from it too. And I don't think... And so musclelibc also has GCC shims for make files and other things that use O, oh, the glibc or GNU's compilers. And I wouldn't think those are vulnerable to it, but it would have have to be tested let's go on give me two seconds yeah so from the draft reference manual 
Doesn't look like there's anything here. Let's see. Mark down source text. Yeah, there's only a slight mention of glibc, and that's the only one that matches. So I don't think musclelibc implemented any of the tunables that GNU did. And G many GNU utils have a bunch of convenience factors to it. So that may be why tunables was introduced and why it may have been overlooked as an, an exploitable escalation, privilege escalation oh, point. So that is going... Hopefully they can patch that out and figure that out and get it fixed in the near future. But until then... Uh, Red Hat's offered a solution to patch it out, and it might be compatible across oh, distros as well. And if, if you want to support the channel and don't know how, but you also want have always wanted to try out a server, I, the link for signing up for ByVM is down in the description or through Frantech. And it's this affiliate link right here it helps pay me and helps pay for my VPS, but it also allows you to support me while also getting to set up that Minecraft server that you've always dreamed about setting up, or gives you a place to set up your web page that you've always wanted to set up and have that you could submit to Wibby.me for searching. just like this. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description, Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one.